Sky Profit, baby. I'm back with another video for you, man. Hope your day going good. Hope you're just in a serene state of mind. A serene state of mind. Through that, you still. Through that, you can hear. Through that, you can see clearer. That's that place that you should always have your thinking function in. All right? Prophet sending blessings, guidance, and protection. Integrity, strength, focus, and understanding. Each individual out there, no exceptions. Never no exceptions. Probably decided to put my feet in that grass today. So the message for you, Spirit led me to bring, is remembrance. It's remembrance. Every time you open your eyes, each and every time you open your eyes, you meant to see more, you meant to see clearer, you meant to see deeper, the initial. You know, the first time you see something, you meant to see deeper than that, you meant to see past that. That's the process of you evolving, you advancing yourself as a being. This kundalini energy, these new energies that you've never tapped into, they multidimensional. They allowing you to see certain things, all right? Now, you've been living on this earth. This earth is, is magical, it's magical. It knows you. The earth itself knows you. All right. Now, when you think about intentions, when you think about attention, that's your energy. Right. So think about all of the lifetimes that you've lived, all of the intentions, all of the all of the attention you gave to things, all of the energy that you've put forward through your lifetimes. All right. I want you to remember that. Because your energies is imprinted. It's imprinted within it, within the earth, period. I know you heard that saying before. You know, like somebody will uh, run across somebody and they would be like, man, they sure recognize me. They know me, but I don't remember them. You might have did it yourself. That is you with your relationship with Gaia. Gaia knows you. Guy, you know your name. Guy, you know how you are. Guy, you know what you need to fix, what they need to send to you, how to create certain atmospheres for you, okay? But you don't remember that connection. Think about all of that energy. Think about how many, think about how cool you and somebody got to be for you to keep going to somebody's house and say, hey, man, you could hold this for me. Hold this for me. And you just go each and every day, all day long, man. Look, hold this for me. And they steady hold it for you. That's how this grid do. That's how this earth's grid do. All of them lifetimes is implanted on this earth. Is implanted within the crystalline grid. Is implanted within the Gaia grid. The, the, the consciousness is raising. The vibrations is raising. That's why you being allowed to tap into certain energies. Okay? Now... All of these energies trying to assist you. You got energies that's trying to bring you into certain knowings, bring you into certain directions. You got to remember what Prophet said. Your life, it consists of pushes and pulls. It's pushes and pulls. You're going to be pushed out of certain things. You're going to be pulled into certain things. Vice versa. You got the dark and you got the light. Both of those, the dark and the light, both serves its own purpose. That's why you got yin and yang. We've been taught to, to look at the, the, the dark as negative, okay? But that dark helps that light. That light helps that dark, all right? But you're coming in all of these remembrance of things. See, you thinking when you come in contact with something for the very first time, you just take a liking, you take an attachment to it. You thinking that's just a liking that you have to something. 
No, it's remembrances. It's remembering things. You know, I, I always use this example. These, these, these guys on American Pickers, they got this one particular one. You know, he, he like all these old gas station signs, old oil signs, just all the old, the old memorabilia, you know, from gas stations and all of that. That's tapping in to, you know, that's, that's what that is. That's what that is, his remembrance of that. You know, and, and you come back, you get to tap into your energies. Like that explains like a, a, a child prodigy. That, that would explain that. Them individuals, they young, but they coming to this earth, they tapping into those energies. All energy holds information. It holds information, it holds glimpses of, of, of images, quick images, you know, that'll flash across you. Nine out of 10, you don't even recognize them as, as being images. It, it, it's so fast. But, but remember, every time you've came, all of your energies has been on the grid. It doesn't leave. Energies is what? Nor created or destroyed. Just transformed, just transmuted. That's all you can do with it. All right? Now you got to understand that when you come into these remembrances, it's for a reason for you. It's bringing you to enlightenment. It's bringing you to things within your Akashic record. It's bringing you into certain things that you need for your evolution. See, when we're walking out here, we naive. We're not paying attention to how we're really living. We're missing so much information. You're missing so much guidance. It's synchronicities all day long for you because it's divine timing all day long if you choose that, just if you choose it, though. So your whole life you've been trained that you live one time. It's been hidden from you that you've been coming to this earth lifetime after lifetime in different vessels. You wasn't taught that. You wasn't taught how deep those likes that you have, those attachments that you have, you wasn't told just how deep they rooted within you. It's all remembrance. It's all you coming into a remembrance. The kids. These kids, they more elevated than our generation was when we were small, than the last generation was. Okay, it's just advancing. That's why you can say the kids get smarter and smarter. You know, like they're supposed to be common sense for all of us. All right? But these kids, that's why I say give them concepts because they, they wise, they tapping into these, it's new energies. They can feel it. They fresh souls. They didn't, they, they haven't experienced all of that turmoil, all of that negativity, heartbreak and pain and confusion. They haven't experienced that within this lifetime. Their energy is still pure enough for them to tap in to these energies off of the grid. That's why it's important for individuals to nurture them, show them love, allow them to be they self. But what happens is this, a, a individual will be feeling a certain way. You know, you tired, so the baby gotta be tired. You don't wanna get up so the baby can't get up. You don't wanna do so, you know, however you feel, that's how your baby has to come into space and place, has to come into knowings and that's not how we supposed to be it's not how we supposed to be you can look them in the eyes and you can see that gleam in their eyes you can see beyond if you paying attention you gotta nurture them help them find themselves because they can tap into their gifts at a young young age don't 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 push all of that negativity all of that sick, all of that disease, all of those those simple, them concepts, them low vibrational concepts in their head. Keep it away from them. Don't teach them pain lest they come to you with that. Like, don't teach them these things. Teach them high vibrational thinking. Protect your energy, protect yourself to and from. Watch your surroundings. Watch what you take in your ears. Watch what you give out your mouth. Help somebody if you can. Give somebody some words of encouragement if you can. Prophet got words of encouragement, man. Don't be the type of individual you don't want to find yourself. But you can find time to hate the next individual. 
Till next time, man. Sky Prophet, baby. Love everybody. Peace out.